Market America has taken product and shopping and has combined it with people to create the best business opportunity in the world. So far, so good. And one of those products is Modus Cosmetics. We pride ourselves to always be on trend, but better than that, to be ahead of trends. Now I am losing my, and I know because of our beautiful colors, but most important, because of our rich, innovative formulas and ingredients. Market America always looks beyond and towards the future with its products. So this is why we call this campaign Beyond Beauty. Uh, the video. <laughs> Modus Cosmetics is beyond a beauty brand. Modus gives us confidence. It pushes us beyond, it pushes us to be more creative so we can embrace our own identity, especially to love ourselves, which is something we all need to do a little bit more of. This slide is a perfect example, perfect example of real people from different backgrounds, different ages, uh, different genders. They're all being creative and embracing their own identity through our fall and winter colors. I know what you guys are thinking. Yes, that is a man up there. Aha, uh -huh, right? But listen, you guys, we have to stay on trend and we have to embrace change. Whether you agree with it or not, men are a big influence in the makeup world. In social media, they have millions and millions of followers. And big cosmetic lines are taking notice. Uh, CoverGirl. CoverGirl made the first guy their cover girl. If that doesn't tell you that there's change happening. So whether they're wearing it or applying it, that's more people that you get to sell motives to. So that's a good thing, right? So let's embrace change. Overall, Modus creates wealth. And this is what makes us different from all the rest. Modus pushes us beyond who we are now and into better versions of ourselves. So hashtag not so basic. And speaking of not so basic, it's this lipstick. This is one of our new colors for the campaign. How cool is this? It has two different colors. The red, by the way, is beautiful. It goes well with everybody. But the gold is super, super cool. I've used it by itself, and people like love it all the time. But you can layer it. You can wear the blue, I mean the red, and a little bit of the gold in the middle, and it gives dimension. These are the eyeshadows. Of course, you guys have to stop by the booth because it's different in a picture. But if you notice in the campaign, you see a lot of like the shiny eyelids. Well, because the trend is going to be a lot of shine. It's going to be like leather, but patent leather. It's going to be crystal, like I'm wearing. It's going to be metallics. It's going to be shimmer, uh, crystals. So then that's why we wanted to have fun with the eyes. So what we did is, to give you a little tip, you take Vaseline and you put a little Vaseline on the eyelid. That doesn't really last that long. That's more like for photo shoots. So I started investigating. And the best way to do it is you actually take the clear lip gloss that we have and you apply it on top of it. But then I went in further and then I figured out that the glue, the, the um, shimmer glue, you put that on before, and then you put the gloss, and it lasts all day. It's actually very cool. You can wear that over any color. So you can have fun and make it a little edgy, you know? But uh, seriously, we have so many more products to show you, but you have to see Kim Ashley and Lisa Martin. Did I say it right? Um, uh, you need to see them on Sunday. I'm so sorry. After that, I mean, actually, I'm doing a pretty good job here, okay? 
I know everybody feels bad that I had to follow that. Okay. <laughs> so if I were you, I would take a picture of this slide, make sure you're at the right place at the right time. Because not only are they going to tell you about products, they're going to tell you how to make money with motives, right? And that's the most important part. We're also, we're also going to talk to you guys about the contest and the contest winners. Which, to be honest with you, since we've been talking about the campaign, maybe we should talk about it now and give you guys the, the winners. So Lisa, can you please come out and help me with this? So real quick, we just want to talk about how to leverage the campaign that Maria puts together as a beauty advisor. And, you know, Kim Ashley and I have been talking a lot about how to make that cohesive because Maria does such an amazing job coming out with colors and trends and hashtags and campaigns. And the whole goal is to make the field money with that, right? So these women have done an exceptional job. We, we have launched a contest every campaign, I think, for the past two years. And there's a contest written. We're going to talk about it at the breakout tonight because I want to let them all chat. But leveraging the contest, there's just some objectives. It's based on points, and whoever accumulates the most points wins. So they have all done exceptional as far as retail sales, which have led to prospecting and recruiting. So I just wanted to introduce them and have them share what leveraging the campaign has done for their business. So first we have Nikki Hala, and she was our first place winner for the U.S. and Canada territory, so congratulations. And um, so Nikki, I just wanted you to chat about how you prospected people with the campaign, what that looked like, how you got in front of them, what it did for your business. So really I um, took the opportunity to engage the everyday woman. Um, by going on Facebook and really just kind of posting uh, my mom and my sisters with the makeover and just kind of use that post to um, garner attention about the campaign. And from there, it was really about just building that relationship with each client to the point where they'd text me or email me wanting to know more about other products and get advice or my opinion on things and really ultimately leading back to like wanting to learn more about motives and um, how to wear it and being comfortable wearing it. So yeah. the education point. So you leverage a lot of social media, but then that landed into that in-person relationship and a lot of recommendations. And uh, you know, it's all about word of mouth, right? That yes, goes a long way. Definitely. So that's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Janina Mato, a Mato. She's from the UK, but lives in the US now. And um, she had an amazing uh, retail experience. I know you are really busy and you leverage a lot of social media as well. Yeah, um, I, again, just use Facebook all the time and I annoy people, tell them I need their faces, free makeovers, and people love it. They get free makeovers, they get the products on their face, they love the way they look, and, and it's a sale. It's like everybody says, it sells itself. Mm -hmm. So just offer the free services and you guarantee to get your sales. Um, the challenge for me in the contest, it's my first time doing it, um, just made me realize how much sales I did. I didn't realize until yeah. I started tracking it. Mm -hmm. And so that just gave me so much confidence and belief in myself. Mm -hmm. So f just do it. And how many clients did you, I think or it was new like, customers around? I did like 67 faces, I think. It was um, a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good job. Thanks, Janine. And, you know, the other thing, they didn't want to cry on stage, but they all have really strong whys, and I think that that's what got them out of their comfort zone to do this. So next, you've all seen Lee Raider. She's been leading the parade and duplicating perfectly because Nikki is on her team, so that's awesome. Uh, so you're a pro at this. Why don't you share your, <laughs> your testimony? This grew my business so much. This is the third campaign that I've been up here for, and so now it's everyone else's turn. <laughs> um, but I, I am so proud of Nikki. She just really follows my lead and duplicates, and now she's, she's first place. So I'm really proud of her. But it is a reason to brand yourself with this campaign. People want to be a part of it. When you share it, they will come because they all want to know what to do for the yeah. everyday women, for fashion. It doesn't matter. We have something for everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And next we have Andrea Thompson. She's from the UK. So she was 
We, had, we've, we launched this internationally as well. So the UK and Spain had a contest, and she was the first place winner for that. So why don't you share? You also did a crazy amount of consultations during that time. Um, so for me, it was actually, you know how we always talk about building from event to event? For me, it was building from challenge to challenge because I did the um, beauty... In every, in, age. in every age, um, and I am motives, and um, that's kind of helped me have that platform to be able to reach more and more people. Um, as Lisa said, I have a very strong reason why, but I use my reason why to then make this campaign about other people. So I've reached um, 84 new um, women with this campaign and most of that was done via social media and the, the best bit that I or best advice I can give anybody that is willing to kind of give it a go is that you need to give more um, more more to the person that they expect more value than they expect because um, even though I only reached out to a portion of those women, the rest were referrals. So um, have a really strong reason why you're doing it, but um, then move on to, to kind of make it about the other person. It's helped me grow my business immensely, not just from a sales point of view. I've had three new partners and three to, uh, to come after Greensboro. So that's kind awesome. of huge. So come see us at the breakout tonight. We'll explain how you can leverage our next contest. Thank you, everyone.